how to create your own NFT on OpenSea Beginner's Guide. Hi guys, in this video, I'll be talking about how you can create your own NFT on OpenSea and the process of minting. By the way, creating an NFT is called minting. And the process of minting an NFT is really simple. So you just want to make sure to keep in mind the steps that I'll be showing you. And of course, stay tuned until the end of the video so you don't mess any step up okay so basically what you want to do is to go with openc to go to openc.io right here and this is how their website looks like if if you happen to like be redirected to a different website then maybe it's a, it's a wrong one so get out there it should look like this anyway this is how the dashboard looks like you can see here the top collection over the last seven days you can go here to see the rankings if you if you must and of course creating nft is right on your fingertips it's just right here but let's talk about all these three tabs right here the explore one if you want to explore nfts if you're looking to flip nfts you can go ahead and explore this part for stats you can go ahead and browse based on rankings and activity and resources of course these are the things that um the the site offers you the things that you can actually do to help you with your yeah, with your experience with OpenSea. Now, before you go ahead and create, there is no other way around this. You have to connect a crypto wallet. Now for this, I'm using MetaMask. So guys, I'm not saying that you should download MetaMask and it's the only way for you to do this, but there are tons of crypto wallets out there. If you already have one, better yet, just use that. Just look for the extension of your uh, wallet and then install it. And then you're pretty much good to go. So for this, I'm using MetaMask. And you can go ahead and download this via Chrome Web Store. If you're not familiar with that, this is how it looks like. And then after that, just install it. And it, will sh it should show right here. I also have Phantom. But for this tutorial, I'm using MetaMask. For this site, I mean okay and as you can see i don't have any funds in my wallet don't judge it let's try to create an nft either by clicking this or by clicking this one let's try to click this <laughs> okay and once you've done once you're done clicking that part you can now see here create new item it's as huge as a cow so this is where you create your first nft or your second third nft or of course your first nft this is a beginner's guide right so anyway all of the things that you see with with this uh yeah asterisk right here they are required filled so it means that you have to put something in there now guys i always tell this um in my videos that creating an nft you should start with creating the art think of the art like the god of your nft this is the focus of your nft not the name not the link not the description it's the art that will sell so make sure to have a very good art just like what i did here i'm not saying that it's really like humongous or you know phenomenal but look it's santa with the golden and red hat who have seen that I haven't seen that before. What about you? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to name my NFT right here Santa Dope because apparently we have to put in a name. So I'm going to put in Santa Dope right here. And the external link, you might be wondering what's this for, but if you have a shop or what, what a shop, sorry. If you have a page, a social media page or a website that contains all of your artwork, and this is the first time that you're hearing about NFTs and that you can actually sell your artworks that you post online. Now, if you have a huge following number on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, and all of those followers actually pay attention to things that you do your art then link it here there's no questions asked you should go ahead and start linking your sites because it's a marketing ploy for your items to be sold on potential to potential buyers that really likes art and attention well i'm not sure about that and yeah if you have external link you can put them down here description this is where you now put in the detailed description of your item like how you did it why you did it when you did it who you did it with is it special to you things like that basically make it as objective as possible or you can also add in personal touch if you want to and let me just try to put in something it is christmas 
and I love Santa. Okay. Now, if your collection, this is when you want to add your this listing to an existing collection that you already have. Well, I have a collection that's really not. Uh, I don't know. I think it's not connected. So let me just uncheck that right here. Okay, let me just go ahead and put it right there. All right. And other thing else that you need to set up are properties, levels, stats, unlockable content, explicit and insensitive contents. You guys, for the properties, this is really important because this is the only way or this is one way for your potential buyers to know if your NFT is actually rare. So this is when the question comes in that, is this NFT really worth my money? So that's the question right here. Now, you want to answer that question through this part of your listing, the properties. Why do you? Why can you answer it through this one? It's basically because imagine there's a thousand collection of Santa dope and thousand Santa dope. What are the things that can happen in a Santa dope? Or like, imagine like it's a dice some sort of a dice so santa dope is a dice and this is the other side other side other side other side other side basically all the other sides of santa dope is imagine that the sides of the dice now roll the dice roll the dice two or three four dices and then get a combination of all the dices and one dice you get like a yellow bucket hat or a yellow santa hat on the other dice you get a red um uh, a red, what do you call this thing? A red beard. On the other um, dice, you get a purple tongue. On the other side, you get a transparent glasses. Basically, that's how properties work, you guys. So, in a possibility of 1,000, how rare your NFT is, tell it to me through this part. So, you can go ahead and add in things like here, like what we've discussed, like Santa hair. Santa, Santa beard, I mean. Santa beard is like golden. Is it golden in the picture? It's gray, I mean. And you can add more just by like putting in Santa hat. And Santa hat is like gold right here, right? Golden red. And that's it. And it will show up like this. Santa beard, gray. Santa hat, golden red. And then other more stuff like levels. This will show as numerical traits. Yeah, that show as a progress bar and you can also add in stats, numerical traits that just show as numbers. And for the unlockable content, you can actually um, toggle this one if you want your content to be locked and then unlocked later on. So you can go ahead and put in a list of people you want to uh, you, you want to like have access to this particular type. You just put them here and uh, yeah, I can... Add in an access key, code to redeem, link to a file. A code to redeem would be like if a successful sale has been done, you can give this code to your buyer and then he'll redeem the file itself. And if you're listing an item that has an explicit and sensitive content, which is totally okay, but I'm not sure if it's totally fine for some people, but it's totally okay. You can toggle this on and off. I think mine is explicit. Is this explicit, you guys? Santa's tongue out. Let me just go ahead and try to... Okay. Right. Not safe for work. Let's create now. Okay. What the... We just created Santa Dope. Now, this is your listing. You can now start to sell it. Just by clicking that right there. And you can choose if... Oh, yeah. It's free. It's... I'm going to sell it for 5 ETH. Why not, right? Complete listing right there. And you can complete your listing just yet. You have to do this steps furthermore. And you can see here that when I tried to use Ethereum, I don't have enough funds and the gas fee is like, you know, I can't afford it. So I think I'm going to end the video right here. So this is basically how you list your NFT on OpenSea and start to sell them. So what do you think about the process, you guys? Tell me down in the comments below and I will see you again in the next video. Peace out.